Welcome back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro. Your dirty martini should not be dirty. Doesn't make sense, does it? It should be much cleaner, and on this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make my version of a dirty martini. What are we waiting for? Let's get into it. So the dirty martini is said to have been invented in 1901 by Johnny O'Connor, who was a New York bartender who was inspired by, of course, the classic martini cocktail. Now let's set a few things straight. Throughout the years, there have been really so many great cocktails that have been invented. And uh, even the neoclassics and this new era of great cocktails that we are going through, every one of those cocktails really bows down to the classic martini cocktail. Now, what is a dirty martini? A dirty martini is a basic gin and dry vermouth martini to which we add a little bit of olive brine, which of course makes it dirty. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our very own olive brine. Now, really olive brine has very marginal things to do with the olives themselves. Olive brine is typically made of water and salt and vinegar. Some people will just make it with water and vinegar, and some people will just make it with water and salt. Hence why you really don't know what type of brine you're putting inside of your martini if you're using that from the jar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make my olive brine. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take two cups of hot water, and I would love it if you use a nice filtered water from the house, even a premium uh, bottled water. Uh, what is always really uh, odd is when you use your best gin and your best vermouth, and then you're skimping on your olive brine. In this uh, cu two cups of hot water, we're going to add two tablespoons of Malden salt. Now Malden salt is of course a superior flaky salt. It's gonna give this uh, martini that nice little crunchy brine that we're looking for. And then last but not least, I am using two tablespoons of a white uh, vinegar from Modena, Italy, which of course is also really superior. Now this brine here, uh, is going to is obviously all poured inside of this container and if you do have additional olives floating around why not pour them in there and allow this whole mixture to cool off with the olives uh, present uh, once about an hour is gone even two hours you can keep this in the fridge uh, as long as you want but at some point you're going to have to filter it out just like I'm doing right now and you're going to be, uh, the final result is going to be this yellowish uh, liquid, which is nice and briny and a template for our martini. Okay, so now it's time to make our dirty martini. The first thing I'm going to do is add ice into my mixing beaker. And of course, I'm going to chill my coupe. just like that. Inside of my beaker, I'm going to add two and a half ounces of gin. In this case, I'm using Aviation. Aviation is a Western style gin, which means it's gonna be a lot less juniper forward, and it's gonna be a little bit more citrusy, which will be a great template for this dirty martini. Of course, you can use uh, whatever gin you prefer. This one is gonna help this clean martini stay a little cleaner. Uh, to that, I'm going to add a half an ounce of dry vermouth. Just like that. And last but not least, I'm gonna just start with a quarter of an ounce of olive brine. You can always add more, but you can never take it out. So there we go. Now we're going to give this a really long stir, 25, 30 seconds. What we're doing here, of course, is we're adding water, we're diluting, we're chilling uh, the cocktail. We're making things nice. Um, some people also like to make a dirty martini with vodka. Um, in that case, most bartenders will recommend to waive the dry vermouth because the combination of dry vermouth and vodka isn't always as pleasant as that of the gin because the botanicals in gin actually elevate the flavor of the dry vermouth. 
and in absence thereof, it might not be perfect. So we will keep on stirring. So in that case, if you were making it with vodka, you would just directly go with uh, uh, three full ounces of vodka and a quarter of an ounce of your olive brine. This looks pretty ready to me. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out. Set that right there. And strain my clean, dirty martini. And the glass right there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and make our garnish, of course, the dirty martini likes olives because the drinker probably likes olives. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up three uh, um, small Castel Vitrano olives. If you can find the brand, it doesn't matter what the brand is, but the style of olive Castel Vitrano, it's nice, it's crunchy, it's buttery, it's salty, and it's, it's the perfect, in my opinion, uh, olive for a dirty martini. We're gonna take three of those put them on the pick and just drop them in there, just like that. And this dirty martini is ready to be tasted. Cheers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just that nice uh, kick from the salt, from the uh, white vinegar. Uh, is really nice. It's giving this martini a nice little uh, briny note that I'm truly enjoying. Uh, the herbs from the vermouth are, are also there and actually the, the saltiness is helping them sit on top of my palate and not go away. They're literally, I feel like my palate has the salt on it and the uh, herbs on top of that and they're just sitting there and contributing all this nice flavor. And then I'm getting those nice citrus notes from the aviation gin. And uh, I've gotta be honest with you, if I didn't have to film a few more episodes, I'd be drinking this right now. I'd be drinking all of it and maybe I'd be making a few more. Uh, so if you enjoyed this episode of Master Your Glass, and if you learned anything, please give us a like, give us a subscribe, smash that bell perhaps, you know, I know you might not be ready for a big commitment, but if you are, smash that bell, that way you get notified every time I come out with more videos and more cocktails just like this. And be sure to come back to Master Glass with me, Livio Laro, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption.